This game is called, uh, it was originally called Race of the Zodiac, we moved us to Zodiac. And the, the game, some of the original ideas we had was a game based off like origami or paper craft. We wanted to kind of take, take from the tale of the Zodiac. The original tale of the Zodiac is that the animals who got into the Zodiac were in a race for the Jade Emperor. And so they got to his Jade Palace. So we're kind of playing with that idea that um, giving, uh, giving players the opportunity to, to participate in the race. And so it's a connect game for kids. So your body is the controller. To turn into the animals, you strike different poses. So it's it's definitely aimed at children, so they they like to play it and because you look silly when you play it, which was one of my goals. I want you to kind of look goofy, but it's very active as well. And it's fun to watch different types of people play it because they're jumping back and forth, striking these poses, trying to get the little coin medallions that we have in the level. As you try to get to the end of the level in the fastest time possible, the idea of the game is that you uh, we have the goat, we have the rabbit, and we have the tiger. Each one has their specific zone in which they're, they're the best. The rabbit can jump the highest, the tiger can run the fastest through tall grass, and the goat, at least in some build, will um, when you crash into obstacles, it won't slow him down because he can ram through things. And there's branching paths, so each each time the player plays it, you know, to get the fastest speed possible, they they can um, try a different path and see how that goes for them. I'm a student here at the, uh, in the Entertainment Arts and Engineering Master Games Studio Program. Well, the video game industry is really huge. Um, so whereas the film industry in Utah, like there's the Utah Film Commission, the film industry probably pulls in about, last last year at least around this time, was about estimated $40 million in terms of like job and economic growth. Um, the video game industry by comparison pulls in $240 million. Master's program up to last year, we were ranked number three in the nation under, I believe, Carnegie Mellon uh, USC. A lot of what guides the ranking is uh, people people's hiring rates. So a lot of the for a lot of the cohort graduates from the first cohort that graduated last year. Some of them are working in places like Disney, Microsoft. And I think there might be some people at Electronic Arts now. And a lot of my a lot of members of my cohort have already had internships in places like. Uh, electronic arts as well. The undergrad actually has a really great ranking. I think it might be number two. If anything, at least it's in the top five. And they, they've actually published a lot of games that have actually done pretty well on Xbox Live Arcade, like a game called Minions that still continues to sell. The, in the UK, they like it a lot. And um, some of my classmates they actually still get a little bit of money from that game, which is cool. Because the, the University of Utah is really great because by the time you graduate, you're more likely than not you're going to have a game that's been published. And there's nothing better to have on your resume if you want to be a video game designer than a, to say that I, I published a game. about the EAE program, whether you're a producer, you're an artist, or you're an engineer, is that you're going to have a solid skill set at the end that when you go to a thing like Game Developers Conference or E3, rather than just being a fan of video games, you're somebody who actually makes video games and you're going to have a game under your belt and you're going to have something to show potential employers that you're serious, you know, you've, you've done your, you've gone from your undergrad to your master's, it's really great to have that when you're looking at jobs and just, you know, it's, give it, this program gives you a lot of the tools, whether you want to be an indie developer or, or go work for a AAA game studio, you're going to know how to do that at the end. You're going to be able to understand those processes.